Hey guys, it's Jaylon and Valerie. Hi! And we're here today to share with you our update for Nightmare on Panning Street. Oh, I had a struggle getting through that. <laughs> this is a fantastic ladies club project and it was created by the both of us. Started on October 31st last year and goes through October 31st of this year. And we have some exciting news. You want to share it, we Valerie? Yeah, we have decided to bring this back for a third year. Yay! Because I know it's very popular. We've had a lot of inquiries about it, mm -hmm. and so we have talked and decided to bring it back. We are going to revamp some of the existing prompts, mm -hmm. and we're taking prompt suggestions. If you have some, go ahead and send them to Jaylon. Don't send them to me. Well, post them, post them in the comments of the video. Yeah, put them yeah. in the comment box. And, or um, you can email them to me if you've got a bunch. My email is in my it's in my description box as well, so you can email them if you'd like, or you can just post them in the in the comments. But yeah, we're we're pretty excited. We've had a lot of people ask us to bring it back, so we we're like, okay. It took us a while to decide, though, for sure. We were contemplating doing something else. We we're like, you know what? Why not? We'll just stay with it. Yeah. So, and also if you have ideas to revamp existing uh, prompts, we're mm -hmm. happy to listen to that too. So anything goes. Anything goes, Send that's exactly right. Ideas. Yeah. Yeah, there are definitely some where we're like, we don't really want to do, have that prompt in there anymore. So we're gonna, we're definitely gonna change things up. Try to make it a little yeah. more interesting. So, yay, that's so exciting. Woohoo. All right. More nightmare. More nightmare, yeah. And that means Valerie and I get to film again monthly uh, you know for That's another right. year which is very exciting where yep. we really enjoy doing this sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge to plan but we do enjoy it i feel like i'm crooked i'm crooked let me see if i can she fix puts that up with, she puts up with me and that's she always a, a bonus in my book. She puts up with, me. puts up with me. Okay, so let's get into our progress for this project. So I have five prompts that are rolling out, and I don't even know how many you have rolling out. Four. Four. Okay, why don't you go Four. first? Because you're my guest, as usual. And FYI, oh. I'm drinking coffee. Okay. First is for Silence of the Lambs, which the prompt is a lotion. It put, rubs a lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> and I had put this, it was just a, a small mm. size of Amazing Grace. I love this scent so much from Philosophy. And I took it on travel and it's done. It's done. That's actually in my 100 Colorful Empties. All my colorful empties are marked with nail polish on the bottom so that's gone that's gone that was for silence of the lambs that's awesome okay for babadook which is something that's has a weird name or is in the deep dark recesses of your drawer <laughs> i chose that one deep dark recesses and i put this zoeva oh, right. palette in and i used i did use each one five times nice yeah, that top one looks v well loved. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, th this is beautiful. And mm -hmm. I would mix this. This is too light, like too icy. Mm -hmm. So I would actually mix these two together because this is way too dark. Right. I'm not too impressed with this palette. It doesn't really have a. I have better highlighters, I think. So mm. this might go into a, a declutter. Yeah. Or you could use them to mix with lotions I could put them in lotion maybe I'll do that yeah that that I can do and then I can finish the palette because yeah it's just not a, I have much better highlighters that I'd rather use no you no. there's it's no use spending time on a product that you know doesn't do it do you justice that's right yeah mm -hmm. okay the third one is paranormal activity mm -hmm. So I have this in my little panty book as Paranormal Pantivity. <laughs> Andrea's project. That Andrea started, and I have it in my little panty book. And I think, actually, in one of our previous updates, I said Paranormal Pantivity. I think you said it in the last video. <laughs> the movie is Paranormal Activity. Right. And this prompt is something that never disappears. Mm -hmm. I had put in this Bare Minerals Under Eye Brightening Powder. Mm-hmm. 
these just take forever. Oh my god! I no. don't think you can see, but I'm I'm making progress. You're about it. halfway using, done, maybe. I've been using it every day for at least this year, probably longer. But you don't need much. This thing will cake up on you in no time. Oh, and you had it in here for thirteen uses. I had it in for yeah, thirteen uses. Okay, so that was easy to do. But yeah, it never disappears. Those things they just never go away. I know. I think I finally blown through my loose under eye powders. I have like one of those, and I feel like I should probably just declutter it. But the um, by Terry Hydra powder, I hate that. I should just declutter it. I hate that powder. I really do. I hate it's, it. It. I do too. I think I should just get rid of it because I I never want to use it. I really don't like that powder. I had it in loose form and in pressed form, Oof. and they were both just miserable. I I use them, but I would actually combine it with something that I really love. Uh, like that's the a good idea. Loose powder is really good, mm -hmm. or the Beauty Bakery. I like that one, or mm -hmm. even Laura Mercier. I would combine them. Just put a little bit of that and finish them. So, but I, I hate that. That may powder. be a good idea. But or maybe mixing try I may try mixing it with something like a Maybelline because I have a Maybelline powder I may try mixing it with that to and just put it put the Maybelline powder in the by Terry powder I may try that because then yeah, I feel like I can it. get through okay I may have to try that <laughs> we're both like oh powder we hate that powder <laughs> yeah. Okay, my fourth empty is for 28 days later. It was to use a product 28 times. Oh, my God. I'm and I rolled in one. this Dossier perfume oh and God. used it 21 times, and I actually finished it. <laughs> so I never got to my 28 uses. I finished the perfume. You are it, forgiven for not using it 28 times because that is like a, an empty. That is amazing. When oh. I rolled it in, I had... I had used some of it. It was about mm -hmm. right here or something. But you know what I do? It's it's pretty light. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And you gifted this to me. Yeah. I love it. It's it's really lovely, but it's quite light. Mm. So I would find myself having to use it again midday, put more on. So that's probably why I went through it so quickly. Yeah. But would you I mean, count the second use in the day as a use? No, uh, not I see. Okay. Sometimes I did if I remembered, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but sometimes I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So I tried 21 uses on this, but it was probably more like, maybe it was closer to 28 or yeah. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's done. An empty. Empty, empty full that's size amazing. perfume. That's amazing. Really good. So good. So good. That's, so those are my four. Those are your four. Okay. I have five. That's amazing. I'm so jealous of your finished perfume. I was, when you told me you finished that, I was like, oh, I haven't finished a full size. I think I finished one last year, but I have, I've been finishing a lot of minis, but no full size. Yeah. And I have so many full size perfumes. The long haul, those full it size is. perfumes, long haul. Yeah. Okay. So my first product that's going out is for paranormal activity. This is an item that never seems to disappear. And one of those is a blush. So I rolled in this Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in Baby Love. I rolled it in for 20 uses and I did hit that goal. So this is how it's looking. I do want to finish. Yeah, I do want to finish this. If I can get this finished this year, that would be amazing. I've just got so many other blushes I'm working on that. Like, I, yeah, I just, I need to get through my uses on those before I want to roll this in. Because once I roll this into a project, I, I'm, it's going to be like my focus to finish it. Right. So yeah. I need to hit some goals on some other blushes first. But I'm really happy with how that one's looking. That's great. I know. They're so hard to finish. I know. Blushes. Okay. But I find that when it pan, they go faster. They go much faster once you, except for MAC blushes. Mac blushes is a different story, but yeah. you're absolutely right. Like I hit pan in my, one of the blushes in my Tarte color wheel. And every time I use it, I'm like, oh my God, like this is so, it's like massive pan now. It happens yeah. so fast. So yeah. you're right. You're right. At, at all blushes except for Mac. <laughs> 
Okay, the next one I have is the Curse of La Llorona, a ghostly product, white in color or packaging. So I rolled in my MAC eyeshadow in the shade Blanc Type. I rolled this in for 50 uses. I had 43 uses last month, and I did finish it. I love this. I mean, I had a small pan before I rolled it in, and it's just a great, just clear your, like, blank canvas on your eyes. I love it. I, I'm still okay. using it now. Yeah, well, now you've got a huge, huge yeah. pan in there. I'm like, I may, I don't think I'll be able to finish it this year because, you know, it's not like I'm using it multiple times in a look. But, yeah, I'm just going to continue to work on it. I've been rolling it into, like, the Clue project or some, like, usage goal projects to to kind of work through it, to kind of keep it front of mind because it's, it's a great eyeshadow. So we'll see how that goes. Nice. nice. All right, next is Misery, a product you're a big fan of. And I rolled in one of my Tarte Maracuja lips. This is, or Juicy Lip. This is in the shade Bloom. And I rolled this in for 30 uses. I had 14 last month. So used it the 16 more times. This is so pretty. And God, I love this formula so much. I need to get back to mine. I have few of those and I need to put another one in a project a, I'm, a few I'm at it. yeah just a few huh like I think I have four or five I have a lot more than that yeah next prompt let's move on next prompt is signs an item with circular packaging or pan I rolled in this glam shop eyeshadow in the shade virtual pink and I rolled this in for 10 uses. I had eight last month, so I didn't have too much more to use. This is gorgeous. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's it, just... Yeah, it looks really icy here. Is it kind of an icy pink? Yeah, it's like icy pink, and then it you know it shifts on this side to like a really pretty pink, and then when you look at it head yeah. on, it's icy. I really like to use this on like the very inner portion of my eye look, so... I loved it. You know, the, these flaky formulas are a little harder to use. So yeah. it's almost like I dip my finger in there and I kind of want, you have to rub the product on your eye versus patting. Cause patting, it just puts the flakes on your eyes, you know? I'm working on one of those flaky formulas, for, formula. Fom formula. <laughs> formula. <gasps> huh. On a, a MAC shadow that's oh. flaky like and I know exactly what you're talking about. They're challenging. Yeah. Because a brush doesn't really pick anything up. And then when it does, it just flakes right off. Yeah. It doesn't stay on the brush. And I even find spraying the brush doesn't do the shadow justice. It's almost like putting it on with your finger is the best way. And you have to swipe it versus patting it. So. Right. Yeah. I 100% agree. But they're gorgeous. So I will figure out ways to make them work. Okay, the last prompt I have to roll out is for the mist, which you would roll in a spray. So I rolled in this little Ilmasca Hydra setting spray, and I took this traveling with me. I loved this. I finished it. It's amazing. It's a beautiful spray. I didn't mind the spray itself. The product is really nice. I don't know if I would pay the price of this. Because I can always find Mac Fix Plus for, you know, a half off or 40% off or something. But if I saw this on sale somewhere, I would probably pick up a full size. Yeah. I think the whole brand is a little pricey. Yeah. Agree. I've, I've never <clears throat> purchased from Il, Il Mosca. It's just always been in a gift box or something. Mm -hmm. I have the impression that the whole brand is pricey. Yeah. And I, I personally don't feel that the price and the product kind of correlate. I don't feel like it's worth right. the money, but, but it, that was a nice spray. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed it. So, but another spray out of my collection. I'm so happy. Sorry. I have this little dog just staring at me for more chips. Midnight. Yeah. He's just staring at me. <laughs> he's just looking at me and staring at me. So I keep, you keep looking yeah. down like, what do you want? What's going on? Face. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so handsome. He is adorable. Okay, moving on to items we oh, are working good. on. Okay. What you got, girlfriend? What you got? I have 
for Hellraiser. Oh, I'm so pretty. I hit him on the head. <laughs> this is a facial exfoliant. This is my Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. Mm -hmm. I have it in for 13 uses, and I've used it three times, so not not much. You can really I, don't need very much, right? Yeah. So can I ask yeah. about that product? I have yeah. a question. Is it like the Dermalogica where it's got like really exfoliating bits? Okay, because I was, my favorite so far has been the Amore Pacific. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't have exfoliating bits. It's more like an enzymatic enzyme cleanser. And I love that product. But I've got a couple of products like that where it's like scrubby, micro scrubby bits. Well, I'll, let me read this to you. It says, formulated with fruit enzymes, vitamin C, and rice powder to soften, brighten, and gently exfoliate. So it's not a... Actually, some of the little exfoliating bits when I mix it in with my cleanser, I feel them almost dissolve. Okay, so I would probably like that. Yeah. Huh, I may have to look into it. Because the well, Amor, Amor Pacific is really expensive. I found it at TJ Maxx, so I was it was a steal. But like, I know Good Molecules is not a pricey pr uh, brand overall. It'd be a good product to try. Yeah, well, I'm happy to give you some. I can just give you some because this, I, I'm not sure it comes in any smaller size, and this is a big commitment. <laughs> But I it's true. Some. I mean, I use it three times, and you can't even see where my line is. Changing. Right, it takes forever. Yeah, I mean, next time you come visit, maybe bring it with you, and we'll I'll give it a try. I'll bring you, yeah, yeah. I'll bring you some. Sounds good. You might like it. Yeah, it sounds like I would. Okay, so the next one is for Night of the Living Dead, mm -hmm. um, something that wakes up your skin, and this is my Tower Twenty Eight. Mm -hmm. uh, spray. You love that stuff. Month. There's my progress in a month. So, so maybe December. <laughs> <laughs> well, question, have you been good about using it every day? Because I know you like to use it every day. I use it every day. Okay. So just like mm -hmm. three or four spritzes and that's about it. So, you know, it, it, it's fine. I don't mind. I love this thing. Well, and the reason why I asked is because you have inspired me to actually use my Caudalie Elixir Spray every morning. And sometimes I'll use it at night too, but I've been using it pretty much every morning before I start putting on my skincare. I'm like, I hear your voice in the background. I spray it every morning. So I'm like, oh, I got to spray it. And I have gone through so much of it. And so um, I was surprised by how little you're, like, compared to how much of mine I've used. But maybe yeah. I just go through more or there's more product in that Tower 28 one. Maybe. I, I, I mean, I really just maybe, I think about, like, four quadrants of my face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Five spray, and that's okay. about it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you've inspired me. And I'm like, I have all these, like, facial mists now. I know how to incorporate them into my skincare. I do it before I, sometimes before I do toner or even after I do toner. Just kind of depends when I remember. Yeah. They, they feel really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just love the yeah hydration, of course, but also this cooling. Yeah. I love it. Especially yeah. now because it's like 185 degrees out here as it is in Dallas. I mean, you know, come on. And even in my house, I'm like, oh, this feels so good. <laughs> okay, my next one is Leprechaun, which is something that brings you luck or green. I went with green. And I rolled in this Biosan Squalene and Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. I have not started on it. Okay. You have other I stuff you're working on? I was going to take it with me on travel, and I ended up taking some others. Mm -hmm. You know, all these things, are, you think, oh, I can blow through this in no time. They take a while. They do. And I, I cleanse my face, you know, twice a day. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I don't use as much in a deluxe from a deluxe size when I'm traveling. I've mentioned this mm -hmm. in a video before where because I'm not home and it's not a product where I just like, you know, squeeze product out of. It's a smaller, right. it's a smaller just in size in general. I feel like it takes yeah. me longer to go through a deluxe size of any product than it does a full size if you compare the two, right? In terms of the yeah. amount of product. I don't know why that yeah. is. I don't know why it is either. And this, I mean, like I said, I have not 
I've not even started. The seal is still on it. <laughs> you'll get to it. I know you finished cleansers really, really quickly, so you'll get to it. I do. Yeah. And it's actually next, so mm. hopefully in a few days I'll be able to start that. That's great. <laughs> and I love the brand. I love Biosense. Oh, I do too. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a duo or double-ended product. I brought in this tart mm. lipstick and lip gloss. Mm -hmm. It's a duo. Dual ended product, I guess. It's a beautiful color. Oh, it's so and pretty. 13, 13 uses each, and I use them in tandem, right? Like mm -hmm. I use the lipstick and then immediately that. And I've used it only three times. So I've got a, a little ways to go, but it's, it's so pretty. I'm kind of jealous of that product. It's gorgeous. Are you? <laughs> Do you want I it? I mean, I don't need, no, don't give it to me. I don't need it. <laughs> It's very pretty. It's the one, the color is just gorgeous. Yeah, there were two that came in the kit, and mm -hmm. I finished the other one. The other one was just as beautiful. Mm. Lovely. Just called Sangria. Mm. Okay, for Bride of Chucky, which is a bridal, something you would use for bridal makeup, I have another Bare Minerals product. This is the Mineral Veil, mm -hmm. but it's the Illuminating. And I am really close on this guy. Oh, yeah. I'm really close. I should be able to have it out next month. Oh, so are you trying to finish it? I can't remember. Yeah, you're trying to finish it. Okay. I'm going to finish it. Because that's a, you can go through loose powders like nobody's business. Yeah, I go through loose powders like crazy. So, yeah, that'll be out next month for sure. Awesome. I love the mineral veil, but just not the illuminating is not my favorite. Mm -hmm. For Event Horizon, something that's magnetic or has a magnetic closure, uh, I brought in my new Kiko blush oh, I love picked that. Up, that I picked up in Italy this summer. Okay, what's well, again, the what's the name of that blush? I feel like they may have that at um, Ulta. Well, the 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 line is called the Unlimited Blush. It's number six. Okay, but I, it seems to me like I saw the the like the name chocolate or something like that. Okay, chocolate or something. It's not really a chocolate, but it's it is so beautiful, and I've used it four of my of thirteen times. It's I love I, that. I, I I'm like hoarding it. Like I I know I have to use it, but it's so beautiful. I I don't want the I don't want. The, the I mean, I'm gonna need to pick that up because it's stunning. It's, it's stunning. It's really beautiful. Yeah. So that's for Event Horizon. I still have nine mm -hmm. to go on that. And my last, the last product that's in is for Misery, something that you're a big fan of. That, in general, is the Hourglass, are the Hourglass <laughs> products. <laughs> this is the Ghost, ghost Quad. Oh, and I'm supposed to use each pan five times. Mm -hmm. I have used, let me see if I can guide you through this. So this is number one. This one I've used three times. Mm -hmm. This one I've used all five times. Okay. This one only once. Mm -hmm. And this one I'm at four times. So I'm getting there. You're getting there. Yeah. God, it's so pretty. I'm surprised that I used this one five times already. Did you did because you mix it? Or did you use it on its own? Huh. Whoops. I used it on its own. And just looking at it, I thought, oh, that's the least... But gosh, these go on the skin so beautifully. I know. They look a little, like this looks a little intimidating, but it just goes, it's so They, beautiful. I mean, even the dark shades, I, 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 I love all of them. I love all of them. They're so gorgeous. Yeah. I would like to consider panning this next year. It's just, mm -hmm. that, I need to, yeah. Four seasons. You have four seasons of blush yeah. here. I, I mean, I'm still painting that. I really want to pan that Tarte blush palette. It's like my priority, but it'll take me for years to get through it. But I want to pull out another Hourglass palette because, you know, I finished one last year or beginning of this year. I do want to finish and I do want to start working on another one, even if it's just the powders. Yep. So you're kind of making me want to pull another one of those out and just start working on it. It's, I don't know. I've got two or three. I need to, I need to get on one of those. So many review yeah so those are those are what's in those okay are the that awesome let's see how many do I have I think I have nine no I must have ten the first one is for the prompt 28 days later use a product of your choice 20 times so I pulled in this house labs 
This is an eyeliner in the shade Magenta Shimmer. I do not like this in my my eye, well, yeah, in my waterline. I just, it's not dark enough, so I took your advice, and I'm using it as a lip liner. So I've only used this one additional time. I'm at nine uses, but I used it today underneath another product that's in this project, and I love how it turned out. So I think I'm going to, I just need to remember to use it. I was, I had another liner that I was trying to finish. That was kind of my priority, but I think I'm going to try to use this as a base for other lip products. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. So. Well, good. I'm glad it's working as a lip liner though. Yeah. Yeah. 19 uses to go. I'm hoping I can power through this, try to use it multiple times a day. You know, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. It's been in here a while. Children of the corn, a food related item. I have not. Oh, again, touch this. The, well, I shouldn't say that because I have used it. The Nest Seville Orange Perfume Oil. There is some progress on this. But the product that I want to put some of this in for a scent, I haven't started using yet. I have a Josie Marin, um, what do you call it, a body butter that's unscented that I'm going to use some of this in. And I've really been working on rolling out a bunch of minis. So... There's some that have been in my turn and burn project so long. I'm focusing on those. And then I think I'm going to focus on this. So it's day is coming. <laughs> it's day is coming. <laughs> okay, next for Leprechaun, a green product or an item that brings you luck. I also went with green and pulled in this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and Apple Lime. We both love this scent. They don't make it anymore. And I was hoping to hit pan, but no. These take forever to get through. I know. And I'm, and I'm pretty generous with them. When I put them on, I'm really generous. And I still, they take forever. I mean, I before I, I, I wear this primarily before I go to bed. And maybe sometimes in the morning after I wake up and if my, you know, I, I want something on my lips. But I've got lip balms all over the house that I'm working on. And I just, I mean, yeah. and I'm like, what? Ugh. Now, this is not the smallest deluxe size. The other one is like two grams, the smallest right. ones. This is an eight gram. But then there's a bigger one, right? There's a the 20 gram. One. There's That's 20 grams. Yeah, huge. But it takes forever. So anyway, still working on it. Then for the grudge, an item you wish you hadn't purchased, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Pink Passion. Only because I didn't need this. I didn't need it. I bought it at TJ Maxx. It's pretty. I mean, to be honest, like if I ha if I didn't have it and I saw it at TJ Maxx, I still probably would buy it no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> but I rolled this in for 10 uses and I am at four. So I still have a ways to go. This is my favorite shade. It's so pretty. Um, pretty yeah. But I also like mixing all three of them together as I do many times and so that's what it looks like when you mix them all three together yeah. so anyway i still have what six uses to go on that so ways to go hopefully i can work on prioritizing it and rolling it out yeah you should be able to roll that out next next month i hope so I yeah i'm going to try yeah. to focus on some of these things that have just been kind of laying around for a while i've just yeah. been dragging my feet on <clears throat> yeah. okay next one is for the thing an item you're not sure how to use. So I rolled in this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Babes and Charms. I used it, have used it one more time. So I'm only up to two uses. The second time I used it, it was so much better. I, I, I think putting it over a shadow or on a bare lid is the way to do it for me because it, it did not like being put on top of a primer. In fact, I kind of want to see what happens if I put it over what I have. Now, hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Oh, it's so yeah, I pretty. Can, yeah, I can see it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I'm now up to three uses. <laughs> three out of 10, three out of 10. So there we go. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm like, I know, I think I can put it on my eyes today. Get one more use out of it. <laughs> All right, next prompt is Reanimator, a serum, which I decided to roll in this Timeless CoQ10 serum. I love this stuff. And I am about halfway through. 
I decided to roll this in to finish, which that's stupid. I should have just rolled it in for 13 uses or 10 uses or something, but I rolled it in to finish. So that's my progress. I'm halfway done. I don't know but where. Imagine it... how good you're going to feel when you finish it. And I do love this stuff. I actually like to mix it with the timeless, like Matrixel serum, which is also in a project. So it works perfectly because I use them together. Um, it's a it's a good like Timeless is a great brand. I do enjoy their serums quite a bit. So, yeah. but I should not purchase four ounces of of any product of any serum. It takes way too long to get through. A lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Four of these. It's a great deal, but I don't need that much product at once. Okay, and the, let's see, I've got, oh, that's my, that's my last product. Okay, next product is It, something that reminds you of a clown. So I rolled in a red, well, red packaging lipstick. This is more of a pink shade. It's by MAC, matte lipstick in the shade A Dozen Melroses. So it's actually mixed with a pink lipstick that I'm wearing now, but I am wearing this today on top of something else. It's so pretty. It's a gorgeous color. I'm up to eight uses on this, so two to go. That's just. Yeah, that's a pretty color. It looks great on you. It's pretty. I, I actually have this as a base and put this on top, and I think it turned out really pretty. So I'll probably at least try to use it the last two times with that lip liner. I think it helps tone mm -hmm. down the brightness but yeah. and makes it you know, a little more pink base. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, party. Party. <laughs> Goofy. Okay, for the prompt hereditary, something your relative used to use or a product that is nostalgic. So I rolled in the Stila Quad because it's nostalgic. You and I were shopping together and we found these and we each have both of them because I was like, you need both. Now, I rolled this in for five uses on each of the pans. I have not touched this yet. I've got other cream blushes that I'm really trying to focus on. Yeah. I've been trying to do like a rotation and I keep like leaving this one out because I've got one, two, three, four cream blushes and projects right now. But I do need to focus on this one. So I wonder if I haven't heard from you about that product. Because, I just haven't, yeah. Uh, you know, I've got that AOA blush that I'm trying to finish in my advent calendar. So like every other, I use that, I try to use that one every other day and yeah. then use something else that I'm working on those every other days. But I figured out I'm going to start doing like blush draping before I do foundation to try oh, yeah. to get through that product a little bit faster because it's very pigmented and you don't need very much. I used it today for blush draping and I really enjoyed doing that. So Hopefully that will open some doors for other cream blushes to be, you know, used regularly. Right. We'll see. We'll see. Well, you'll you'll have to tell me because I just love that. Oh, I know. I, you wax poetic about it. I can't wait to try it. I just need to, I need to incorporate it into my rotation. Yeah. But I need to be better about that. You'll get there. I'll get there. Okay, for the prompt, get out, a product you want to get out of your collection. I'm trying to work get on... Out! Get out! Get out! I'm trying to work on this Lorac palette because I hit pan in this for Did You Hit My Battleship. And so it had pan in almost every shade, and now I'm just trying to work it out. So I rolled in this shade here, which is vanilla, to use half the pan. And I'm almost at side pan. I'm not quite there. And I'm, I am I feel like potentially next month it may be able to be rolled out. I do try to use this every day in my inner corner. Yeah. So I feel like it's getting there. It's getting there. And I'm. Uh, you and I have talked about this before. And I want to say I talked about this in the last video. Is that I use a lot of these shades to franken. Um, especially with my pan that palette right now, there's a couple shades I don't like in there. So I've been yeah. using this to Franken and it's been working really, really well. So I do that love palette. That palette looks really loved. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. My last product is for the Exorcist. Something that makes your head spin because it's so gorgeous. 
I rolled in my Bite Beauty and Mousse Bouche lipstick in Sake for 10 uses. I, uh, I think I've only used it once. I didn't mark it, but I'm pretty sure I've only used it once. It's just more of a fall lippy, so I'll definitely get more use on it in the fall. And I do want yeah. to finish this. That's how much is left in here. I don't know if I can finish it this year, but I'm going to continue to work on it. So I think I have nine uses to go, eight or nine uses to go. Yeah, in about a month, it'll start to feel better to use colors like that, you know. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. And I mean, it's fine to mix it, but to be honest, I just love the color on its own. I don't feel like I have to mix it, you know. I want to enjoy the color itself. Yeah. So anyway, well, that's I, what I'm working on. I forgot on. one. <clears throat> oh, you did? I oh, forgot. okay. Yeah. Let me get it. It's actually in my purse. Okay. It, interesting. And, you, and also, you just finished talking about Bite. This is a Bite, bite ah, product. Okay. I rolled this in last month, and I can't remember the prompt. I think it's, oh, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, something that you could eat. Oh, right, and right, yeah. This this is the color Pavlova. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to finish it. I've, I've not, I haven't used it very much, but there's not much in there. That's right. it. That's in there. God, that color is gorgeous. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's I said this last time. It's a little too pink. Oh yeah. For right. I, I mean, it's a little pink, but I can get away with it here. Yeah, in Florida for yeah. at least. Yeah, that's not. But that... I can layer it. I can if it gets, you know, too fall. I can layer it. You know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't usually go for pink like that shade of pink. It's, that's a very pink shade for you. It's I could see it being a little bit uh, like chalky looking on your lips with your skin tone. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. I usually put a darker lip liner underneath it, and then it it helps it a little bit. Yeah. This came in a set. We talked about this last time. This came in a set of four mm -hmm. in the holidays. Twenty one. Right. And I finished one, but I still have three to go. So it'll be nice to get that anyway, one out. That's I'm sorry. It'll be nice to get that one out. Yeah, yeah. So and that, anyway, that's my which one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight products that I'm working on. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And so you're rolling in five. Well, so yeah. So there's the next thing. So for <laughs> some reason, I had twelve products. I don't know why. I was so one over, and you were one under. I don't know why. I can't seem to count. So I finished four. I'm rolling out four, but I'm going to roll five in, so mm -hmm. I'm back up at 13. Got it. All right. Tell us what you got. Okay. So the first one is for the Shining Twins is the prompt, and it's something that you have a backup for. So I'm going to put this Tatcha Silky oh, Canvas in. Stop. It's really beautiful. I've never purchased these. I think they've come as gifts or something, mm -hmm. or either Sephora favorites. And I have a, at least one backup. Yeah, I love that product. So I will put this in to finish, of course. Nice. Be to for the shining. For this is for Candyman, something that has such a long name that it takes you five times to get it right. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Well, that was a little tricky for me because I always think of those things as pronunciate pronunciation things, but this is really just a long title. This is a cure. Okay. It's a serum, and it's the radically rejuvenating dual phase the Kuchol serum. <laughs> yeah, it's a long name. Well, that's what it's I did. Long. I did the Estee Lauder one, and that one's like the longest name. So yeah. I did the same and thing. And it's still, it's still in the box. I've never used it, and it is by phase. Mm, okay. So you're supposed to shake it up until it's green. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then, and then use it. So, so what I, are you rolling it in? Are you rolling it in to finish or to use? Okay. Awesome. Finish it. Get it done. Get, get them done. That's right. Uh, okay. So then Beetlejuice, something either green or purple. Mm -hmm. I went with green, and I put in this little pixie glow mud mask mm -hmm. this is in my under colorful empty oh nice oh we'll try to get this mask out perfect finish that I'm trying to finish some things dang 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 okay for the mist which mm -hmm. is a spray 
I am rolling in this Scandinavia. This is a oh, yeah. priming spray. Uh -huh. It's the only thing I own from Scandinavia. I don't know where I got it. Probably Fat Fit, Fat Fit Fun. Maybe, yeah. Because that's supposed to be, that's a dupe of the Urban Decay Primer. Uh, all nighter. Smash. No, the Urban Decay one. Oh, I didn't know they had a priming spray. Well, yeah, it's the, I think it's supposed to, okay, wait, I'm thinking of the original Scandinavia spray. Because the Urban Decay, I think, gets their product from Scandinavia. Oh, okay. For their 24-hour setting spray, whatever that is. I can't even think of the name. It's right here. All-nighter, the all-nighter spray. So that's, but that's, that's the primer spray. You're right. It's different. Well, I'm hoping <clears throat> that this will replace my beloved Smashbox priming one priming water that I love so much. I have a bunch of them, but it's no longer available. So the minute those are, when I finish those up. I kind up, of don't really, I don't remember them taking that away. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It's gone. So I'm hoping that this is yeah replacement. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's good. So anyway, I've heard 13, wonderful things about the brand. So hopefully yeah, it's good. Same. So 13 uses on that. I'm not finishing it. That's a, that's a 13 <laughs> use. <laughs> And then my fifth item is for Rosemary's Baby. This is a new item in your collection. Mm. I just bought this in Vegas, and I can't help it. I'm going to roll in this Tom Ford lipstick. Mm. And the color is Naked Rose. Mm. There, I'll do the Jalon thing. There's the... <laughs> it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And there's the color. It's a Valerie color for sure. 13 uses for that. Okay. Oh, it, look, yay. it looks a little brighter on the camera than it is in here. real life. Okay. In real life, but it's uh, it's gorgeous and it's in this, isn't this a limited edition packaging? This I feel like it is because I don't, yeah. Is that like, is that pink or is it white? Pink. Okay, yeah. Then it's, it's limited really edition. Light pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, yeah. I'm happy to have it. I'm, mm -hmm. I was thrilled to find it. So, anyway, 13 uses on that. No, no. That'll be my five, yeah. Yeah, that that's your five. Awesome. Well, I, like we mentioned, was one over. So instead of rolling in, or maybe I was two over. But no, because I, I finished four. So I'm rolling in three prompts to get me back to 13. And actually, these are the last three prompts that I had that I hadn't done the, done since we revamped the project. So... When next month, I'll be able to start with a fresh new wheel. Nice. So, okay, the first one is American Psycho, a skincare product. And I decided to roll in, this is in my 100 Colorful Empties, and I've just been dragging my feet using it. It's very banged up because it's been in my travel bag. I do have some use on this. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I am probably like halfway through this. So I just want to finish it. I gotta get it out needs to be finished it's been hanging yeah. around too long get out get out so i also have dr jekyll and mr hyde a duo or dual ended product so i'm rolling in a brow product this is by nyx it's their micro brow pencil in the shade espresso so i probably won't be able to get to this for a little while because i'm trying to finish my anastasia beverly hills brow definer they take forever and I'm I, I don't have very much left in it but again they take forever and then I've got a brow pomade that's in my turn and burn I want to finish and then I'll focus on this so I don't even know if I'll have uses usage on this before the next update but I just want to roll this in because this is an older pencil it needs to get used I'm using one of those right now <clears throat> yeah and I love it they're great they're, they're great. Really great yeah for the price really great. they're great and mm -hmm. Um, I, I've had that one so long, but I figured it's, oh, well, I need to use it. And, um, they take so much less time than any, <laughs> any of this brow definer type products. Right. So. Or yeah. pomades. Pomades take forever. Yeah, exactly. I may like, I, I may actually start working on it when I'm working on the pomade. Cause there are some days I don't have time to work on the pomade. Like. Because you have to pull out a brush and it just, if yeah, I'm rushed in the morning, I need something fast. So I may end up working on them at the same time. It's a labor intensive makeup 
item. It is. It is. It's so I, I actually, the mornings I'm rushed, will use this, but prioritize the pomades. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. So I may have usage on it before the next update. just depends on how long it takes to finish that <laughs> brow definer. Yeah. I'm almost there. And then the last prompt is, I know what you did last summer, something you purchased in a past summer. So I went with an indie eyeshadow. I purchased this last summer. This is by Terra Moons Cosmetics. It's the shade Space Baby. And it's another one of these like uh, iridescent multi-chromes that is great as a topper. So huh? here is the shade. I just love shades like this. I, I know. I mean, they just do so great over eyeshadows you're already wearing. It's so pretty. So yeah, over over any any eyeshadow you're wearing. Exactly, exactly. And I want to roll it in for ten uses. So we'll right. see how that goes. That's great. Yeah. New so, products. There's nothing quite like like rolling in new products. I know. And I love how I love how we're doing this project in the sense that a lot of the stuff that we roll in is just you know a usage goal because. You know, we have so many projects that are year long where we roll something into finish. And then these types of projects, I love being able to cycle through my collection. Yeah. I love that. Same. Same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to do that too. And like things like this Scandinavia that's been sitting here for a while. And I thought, okay, this is the chance. It's to perfect. Do it. It's perfect. Let's get 13 uses on there. Uh huh. And let's see. Let's see what it's all about. See if I like it. Mm hmm. All right. Well, that is our update. Yay. Yeah. So like we said, if you have prompt suggestions or ideas for prompts that we've already used, you think would be a better, you know, description, let us know. We'd be happy to take suggestions. Uh, we'll start working on putting together kind of what we're going to submit for the renewal and hopefully have something up in the next month or so uh, in the Fantastic Ladies Club group. So we will keep you guys up to date. Let you know how yeah. things go. Look out for the new tag, thumb, thumb tag, thumbnail. Nail. There we go. Got it. Picture. Picture. Yeah. Look out for a new picture. I have to figure out what movie I'm going to use as a, as the image. Yeah. You know, there's some of those iconic scenes. We'll have to figure out which one it is. Because we did Nightmare on Elm Street and we did Exorcist. No. Yeah. Exorcist. Those are the two just, ones yeah. I've used so far. So I'll just have to look at the list and see which one, you know, sticks out. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and Valerie and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. We ready? Let's do it. Do you want to, do you want to try doing the intro? No. <laughs> You're like, I'm not prepared for that. No. No. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party started. All right. Party started. Hey guys, it's Jaylon and Valerie. Hey, hey, hey. And we're here today to share with you our update for Nightmare and See? Hey, hey, hey! See, it's we. Fat Albert. Did you did you ever watch Fat Albert? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Fat hey. Albert. One, two, three. Okay. Bye.